Today I'm pleased to announce that Adobe has launched the 2017 edition of Adobe Captivate. I've prepared a series of videos on my YouTube channel to give you an introduction as to what's new. In this video, I will show you the enhancements to closed captioning. Let's get started. So you can see here that I have a pretty basic slide set up, nothing fancy. It's a title slide and there's a next button. And I wish to include some narration on here, which I've already recorded, but uh, obviously I'm gonna need some closed captioning because I wanna be uh, accessible as well. So let's, uh, let's add some closed captioning using our slide notes panel. First off, I'd like to draw your attention to a couple of changes to the slide notes panel. Right off the bat, the thing that jumped out at me the most was the fact that there are text formatting controls. And we'll get into that in a minute, but certainly you can make text bold, italic, underline, and change the text color. You still have the ability to filter your slide notes. The default, of course, is to show all notes, but you can alternatively just show your closed captioning or just show your text-to-speech if you're using it. One of the uh, additions, of course, is the ability to move slide notes up or down. That wasn't in Captivate 9. Uh, you certainly can add slide notes and subtract slide notes or delete them, if you will. One other difference is the text-to-speech button and the closed captioning button have been replaced with icons. So a little bit uh, more cleaner interface because of that. And there's the addition of a new video closed captioning button to allow users to access the closed captioning on their multi-slide synchronized videos much more easily. So let's get into this. I've already got some narration recorded on here, so I'm gonna go into the closed captioning settings themselves. Now you can see here pretty much what you'd expect to find is the waveform. The controls really haven't changed all that much, but as I indicated, there's now text formatting controls, and there's also the opportunity to uh, get into your CC settings, which we'll do in just a moment here. But let's start off by adding the captions that we're going to need for this particular uh, slide. So let's play a little bit. So we need to add a caption right there, and we can use the plus icon for that. And uh, the full text is welcome to the building evacuation online course. Okay, we'll play it again. Welcome to the building evacuation online course. And we'll add another caption here. I'll just position this a little bit more to the left there because that's where it starts. And my instructions here to the users are click the next button to begin. So that looks like it'll work fine. Um, let's just play that and make sure. The next button to begin. Okay, that looks good. Now, what we can do is we can further customize these closed captions by using those text formatting controls. So for example, if I wanna draw attention to the name of this course, Building Evacuation, I can highlight that text right within the slide notes section here or the, the closed captioning section, and I can make that bold. I could also add italics, or I could underline, or I could do all of those things as I've clearly done here. And I can even go so far as to change the text color. So maybe we'll make that purple just for fun. And then down here in the click the next button to begin, maybe I wanna underline next because I want it to be clear that I don't want them to click the back button or the closed captioning button or whatever it is that they, uh, might uh, think of other than the next button. So again, we'll just underline that. So there's some examples of how you can use text formatting to draw attention to those who are using closed captioning to draw attention to specific keywords. Let's show you where the biggest enhancement to closed captioning is. One of the biggest complaints about closed captioning in Adobe Captivate in the past has been the inability to really customize it and create a closed captioning window that is truly unique for your design. 
If we go into the closed captioning settings window, which is that little icon that I just clicked there, you have a lot more controls. So you can turn closed captioning on or off. You can pick uh, which slide you want to preview. I only have one in this case here. I can reset the project back to normal and, um, and I can start making some changes. I can choose, first of all, where my closed captioning window will appear. I could put it in the top left or I could put it in the top center and so on. You get the idea here. But what's really cool, and I think this is far more important than the alignment controls, is that I can actually grab it with my mouse and place it wherever I want. So let's say, for example, I want it to appear uh, approximately the size of that title. So I can select this spot here and I can increase the width just by using my mouse wheel. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to have it left aligned in this case, but again, you can you can go with center aligned. You can change the font size from here. Uh, let's change the color to, say, a gray. And the background, I'm going to change that to a very dark gray. And I'm going to get rid of that transparency effect. So that's pretty cool. And, and again, there's lots of other combinations of all these controls that would allow for different results. So let's click Apply and Close. And remember, we also made some customization to the actual text formatting itself. So I'm going to save this and close. And let's just do a preview and see how that looks. Welcome to the Building Evacuation Online course. Click the Next button to begin. So that's pretty cool. That's something I've been looking for uh, for a long time. I didn't know it was coming out in Captivate 2017, but I'm very pleased to see the ability to completely customize your closed captioning window. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help building your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com. Follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.